I promise there are big moves for you to make in this game, but I just don't think this is the one mm -hmm. that like, it's, they're not gonna make a YouTube video over it, unfortunately. Hello, I'm Ethan Bell, and I have a story for you all. Long, long ago, on the final days of August 2024, a truly wonderful and special series of events played out, and I wanna talk about it. So sit back and enjoy, because it's story time. To set the scene, we were on the cusp of starting week seven in the Big Brother 26 house. The players were gearing up to compete in the HOH competition and nearly everyone was gunning for it because a huge move had just been made a couple hours earlier that completely changed the future of the game. Angela was the initial target for the week six eviction and she was destined to go home. But the comp beast Tucker was sitting next to her on the block and a small group of players saw an opportunity to take out the biggest threat left in the game. So they gathered just enough votes leading up to the eviction, which culminated in the excellent blind side of Tucker in a five to three vote over Angela, which not only shocked half of the house and changed the entire trajectory of the season, but it also kept Angela alive in a week where she very well should have been evicted. This, however, was not an uncommon occurrence for Angela. In week two, Angela thought that she was going home, but the house elected to evict Elisa instead, and then in week three, she was sitting on the block as the main target again, but Tucker surprised her by using the veto to save her in one of the craziest veto meetings of all time. Angela was the cat with nine lives in the Big Brother 26 house, and it seemed that no matter what anybody tried, she would always find a way to survive. However, one player was determined to put a stop to this. Quinn. Quinn viewed Angela as a goat that everybody could beat in the final two, but because of that, it meant that people were going to be taking her to the end instead of him. So going into the week seven HOH comp, Quinn desperately wanted to win power so he could evict her and open up that seat in the final two. As fate would have it, Quinn actually did end up winning the HOH, and as a result, he went through with his plan and nominated Angela, alongside Chemo and Rubina as pawns. Now, upstairs in Quinn's HOH room, you could find another player, sitting with Quinn, laughing at his jokes, and endearing herself to him in any way that she could. Leah. Leah was a very interesting player. She wasn't really respected as a gamer by many of the others, and she was sort of on the outs of the general house dynamics. However, Leah had a couple things going for her. One, Quinn had a massive crush on her, and in a way, Leah held some power over him because of it. Two, Joseph had a massive crush on her, and in a way, Leah held some power over him because of it. In three, Leah had recently made a secret Final Two deal with Angela, Leah had the pieces in front of her to become a force in the game. It was just a matter of figuring out how those pieces could be put together. But how would she do it? Leah needed a catalyst, something that could give her the opportunity to really make something happen in the game. And that catalyst came quicker than expected because the very next day after the nominations, Leah went out and won the veto. Leah finally had power in the game, but with power came a big decision. Everyone in the house, outside of herself, wanted Angela out of the game, especially Quinn. Leah was honest to Quinn that she wasn't sure what she was going to do with the veto and said that it made sense for her game to save Angela this week. So in response to this, Quinn spent hours and hours giving Leah every possible reason as to why using the veto to save Angela was not a good move for her to make. It would isolate Leah. Quinn would have no choice but to put Joseph, one of Leah's only other solid allies, on the block in Angela's place. It would make Leah more likely to be nominated and evicted next to Angela the next week. And above all else, it wouldn't be the type of move to make it into a YouTube video. Maybe Quinn was right. There were a lot of risks that came with using the veto. And for what? To save Angela? There were so many other ships for Leah to attach herself to and Angela's ship just wasn't the one that was gonna give her a big payoff. Quinn gave Leah a multitude of reasons as to why the right move for her game was to not use the veto, leave Angela on the block, and just let her be evicted at the end of the week. It was convincing, it made sense, and it was starting to change Leah's perspective, but it wasn't enough. At the veto meeting, without giving Quinn any advanced warning, Leah decided to play her own game, and she used the power of veto to take Angela off the block. 
In turn, Quinn felt forced to put up Joseph, and now Leah was in trouble. Leah made herself a huge target, and while she did guarantee one of her three allies safety, her other two allies, Quinn and Joseph, had every reason to be furious with her. She went against Quinn's wishes and put him in a tough spot, and now Joseph was literally sitting on the block, susceptible to being voted out, all because of her actions. Leah might have just made one of the worst big moves in Big Brother history, but that didn't have to be true. Leah was well aware that both Quinn and Joseph had massive crushes on her, and her playful banter throughout the weeks had helped keep them under her spell. Her mist, you could say. Leah knew that there was no way they could stay mad at her, especially if she continued to play into them. She acted coy with them, telling them exactly what they wanted to hear, and within a matter of hours, they had both completely forgiven her, falling right back into their homes around Leah's fingers. Leah was able to make this move because she knew, at the end of the day, she was not going to face any big immediate repercussions. Not only that, though, but this was a move that could kickstart the movement of Leah becoming a winner contender. Before this, Leah was seen as someone who wasn't really playing the game in the eyes of the other house guests. But now, they just watched as Leah made a big move and didn't fold to the pressure around her. They may not have liked the outcome, but they couldn't deny that Leah was in fact playing the game. So, Leah earned some game respect, she made a move that she could call hers, she gave herself some win equity, she saved a final two ally that would have assuredly been evicted otherwise, and she won back the trust of both the HOA she blindsided and the player that went up because of it within mere hours. Leah made her splash in the game, she did it on her own terms, and she cleaned up the mess using nothing but her wits, charm, and manipulation. That is impressive and that is what makes it a move worthy of a YouTube video. At the end of the week, unfortunately, things didn't pan out as optimally as she had hoped because a flip happened at the very last minute that sent Joseph home over chemo in a four to three vote. But I don't want the ends to justify the means. Using the veto was the only play Leah could make that could put her in a position where she could enter the jury phase with all three of Angela, Quinn, and Joseph. It was a risk, yes, but she made the active move that had the potential to put her in a great position had certain future events played out differently. Just because it didn't work this time doesn't have to make it a bad move. Time and time again, we see players have the power in their hands with an opportunity in front of them to make a big move, but they choose not to and they pay the price because of it. Leah was not one of those players and I wanted to commemorate her sticking to her guns despite pushback from the entire house and making the move that so many others before her were too scared to make. She played with fire and it burned her this time but at least she played for herself. So, sorry Quinn. In my eyes, this move was quite literally a move worthy of a YouTube video. The end. Angela is 12,000% my target this week because I am just so confident that she will just be carried to the end of this game at my expense. So this week, I need the noms to stay the same. It's always hard seeing Angela up on the block. I know she's had a tough time in this house, but I think that she's a very kind soul. I really, really want to win this veto. I feel like I've been an afterthought to a lot of people in this house and I am over it. Woo! Congratulations, Woo! Leah. You have won the oh golden power of veto. Woo! Oh my gosh. Having a little bit of power is gonna feel really awesome. I think this is all right. As long as she doesn't use the veto. I'm kind of sick of being at everyone's mercy. I feel almost compelled to make a big move, but I know it's gonna ruffle some feathers. What are you thinking, like? My feeling is to take out Angela. It would suck for Angela to go this week because she's a solid number for me. I saved you last week. Do not do this, Leah, please. I'm still making my decision. I understand that you have not been given the respect you deserve in this game, mm -hmm. but I don't think that saving Angela is the answer. You have to understand, I have to put up Joseph. Please, please don't do it. Please, please, please. Don't do it! Please, please. If she uses that veto tomorrow, I literally beg. This is the veto meeting. I'm really sorry, Quinn. 
I have to prioritize what's best for my game and I want to use it the way that I want to use it. I have decided to use the power of veto on Angela. Unfortunately, Joseph, I have to name you as that replacement nominee. Friendships are great, but this is all a game for me. You're amazing. I don't have a scary for you. I have you in any capacity that you need. I have you back. Quinn and Joseph might not like it, but I have to play my own game. So Leah just blindsided me by using the veto, even though I begged her not to. I am just heartbroken. Do you hate me? No. Should I be worried? Not about me. Come on. Who could say mad at me? I was annoyed with Leah when she used the veto, but I'm gonna let it go because she's cool. So I might as well just uh, keep working with her. Don't think for a second that I want you out of this game ever. I'm annoyed at Leah's decision, but maybe I'm a fool. I just can't stay mad at her. You are a super villain. <laughs> it's working. That's a great what are you talking about? I don't want to say that they're wrapped around my finger, but.